Thank you so much. I wanted to speak to you about your work. You're a dancer and uh, particularly you focus on contemporary dance. Tell me why you like contemporary so much. Uh, I think uh, contemporary doesn't have any limits and that is the main reason that I, I really enjoy doing it because uh, all of my life there was limits for everything and contemporary dance is so flexible so you can put in your story in different way and your body is your tongue or your uh, language to talk to people and whenever I dance I don't feel who I am or with all of the text like I'm a woman or uh, how old I am uh, the focus is I am here now and I want to tell a story and that is the main reason for me you mentioned before that you think uh, dance is very political and again you talk about the restrictions. Explain that a bit more. For people with my experience who are born and raised in Iran, uh, dance wasn't all, all the time about art and dance was forbidden. So um, my experience uh, that I had like all the time, it was like, um, it was forcing me to see dance not in an artistic way also political way but uh, to be honest I am pretty uh, free of and I'm not in any political groups but my main reason is to put question marks in people's head when they see a performance and then they can rethink about political views that they have so I cannot say that I don't think about politics when I do dance but in the other way, I don't give directions. I just give question marks and image, so people can choose the answer. Because I think, for me, it's so hard to give the answer to people. One of the things you talk about, too, is the importance of dance for children, right? Yes. Uh, you work with Swedish children, including those who are uh, refugees. Explain why dance is so important to so many children and why it needs to be promoted even more. Uh, I think, like, during the lifetime, how much we touch each other, skin to skin. I think, like, in the new generation, uh, they are just... Uh, used to touch uh, like uh, laptops or like phones or not just the screens but come on we are humans we need each other we need love and i think love is only transfer from skin to skin so the way that i think can make people comfortable to touch each other is dance because then they have a reason why they touch each other or they have a what do you say they have something between each other, so that reason makes them touch each other. You cannot make people like, oh, let's let's uh, get together and touch each other. But dance, it would be a, a reason for them to get interested to touch each other and try to communicate because so many newcomers uh, or people in other countries, we don't speak in the same language and language is always a problem. You know, no matter how much you know a language, still there are some feelings that you can't find the right word. But dance doesn't have any limits. You can say a lot. And that is my focus, as I said in the beginning, like dan contemporary dance doesn't have limits. So it's so good to share this with more uh, babies from like age one month till plus 60. I think everyone can dance uh, as uh, Pia Bach said dance 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 otherwise we are lost and you talk about um, in the conversation we were having before uh, the positive impact you see on children when they do actually start dancing is especially children who've been to through trauma yeah. can you talk about that a bit <laughs> People that are coming from drama or they have some uh, experiences, which I don't know all of it, but it can be sexual harassment, it can be like they got divided so much in their life so they don't even know about other genders or other, you know, it's, we are now like a rainbow. And with dance, you get a, like we try out to swap the gender, we try it out to not really think about also gender when we are dancing. And that's happened when you, when you lose yourself in a group and try to trust each other. Because when you touch someone, the, you start to build the trust. And also this helps a lot of young people to, 
to try to trust each other again and erase all of this misunderstanding pictures that media has built on their mind. Like so many people like have bad images of refugees or newcomers because they never even saw them. They just see medias with horrible news and they think, okay, all of the refugees are like that. My main vision is to, to just show that a group of people with different experiences experiences, not only refugees, like different like students, like, uh, you know, in cities it's different people, tourists or people just visit for a short time. They can be together and dance together and that's it. So simple. Uh, and hopefully the, I can grow it more and more. I, I think this can really heal the society because we are losing trust. Nowadays there is less trust between people compared to World War One, How many people we trust? Dance can raise people like, to trust. Um, one of the um, things you mentioned too is, uh, you know, or, or we were talking about was the fact that when there are cuts in schools, for example, music, dance, art, that's the first things to go. But they're so important for child development apart from building trust and also uh, the, the, the idea of touch. Exactly. It's like uh, when I, right now I'm, I'm teaching dance like to small kids and whenever I tell them like in my home country, I couldn't go to any dance school when I'm in your age. They were like, like three years old. They're like, how? And they are, get so upset. Some of them crying. They can't believe why dance is illegal or why dance is uh, forbidden. I think because people, I don't know, system is really scared that people start to trust each other or they start to build connections. Because dance, I think it's really helpful for schools because it's a, like a group working together and there are so many tra uh, like trainings that build big trust between kids and also it helps them because after a while girls and boys start to get divided by gender. Dance can you know play with that, it can be play with all of the definitions and you know build up new definitions to people's like young people's head. So I think it's very important that kids like from young age, I say like one month, start to dance and move because the whole world is moving. The gal galaxy is moving, the sun is moving, the earth is moving. In our bodies, the blood is moving all the time. Everything is moving around us, the air. And how can we just still stay still? I think dance is very important for human beings and it can heal us. It healed me. So. You know, you, you said that you weren't really allowed to dance and you had to study something completely different, architecture. Um, even though there were all these restrictions, why did you keep persisting on, you know, I want to dance, I want to dance, and then you're now in a company and you're doing that, uh, you know, something you love. Why, why did you have to keep persisting at it? I think from young age I was such a girl that I, whenever people tell me like something to not to do, I was, and I felt like it was my right to do it. I was fighting till the last breath to do it. Uh, and I think for me, it was no excuse that someone or a system tell me not to dance. And I felt it was ridiculous. That is why I think bad rules are made to be broken. So I saw myself as a tool to break this stupid rule that people cannot dance. I mean, it was a few years ago, like they arrest a group of young people, they dance with a happy song. What? I mean, they didn't even do anything in the film. And I felt like responsible as a new generation to show that I can break this and I can encourage a lot of dancers in Iran to follow their passion. And there is a way they can, you know? their passion and their dreams become true. I feel responsible for those who don't have this right now and they are wishing to have it. As a final question, I wanted to ask you about your company. I mean, you do uh, different dances, all in contemporary dance, is it? And, um, but today, you, you're at, at this event we're at in Köln, you are 
uh, doing something that you've choreographed yourself. Can you explain what it is that you're trying to do with this uh, piece of work? Um, this performance for, that I'm going to do tonight is a very short version of my performance that I did uh, in February in Heidelberg Festival. Uh, and uh, the piece called Black and White. So it's a two sections, black section and uh, white section. Black section is about like uh, struggles that people have with darkness that they have. And I, I think everyone has their own darkness. So my play was to, to try to communicate with it instead of denying it. And the white section is about more about freedom and dances for me is, my, is like my, uh, my way to break things, as I said before. So it's like a white piece and my hopes to, to be perfect in life, which I couldn't, never. I think I, I can't be never a perfect dancer because I, I couldn't start dancing in like uh, schools from young age. But uh, still, I am fighting to go to the perfection direction. And what is perfection, right? So it's, it's just different images with the frame, and with the plastic, like with the frame, it's like showing up the norms that we have in life, like what is, what is the normal woman should do, or what is good, what is bad, the, the borders that I'm holding, the frame that you see later on. And then I break it. So it's kind of a short pictures of my life, maybe the white section. But tonight I, I have shortened it up to 15 minutes. And also, um, I'm so happy that uh, still it's 15 minutes, but I guess it can say a lot. You also use your body. Uh, I think uh, you use u nudity as well. Yes. Explain why. For me, nudity in art is, or artists who use nudity, is uh, all about honesty. That behind all of this makeup and all of this, I am Atusa. This is me, um, and it's all about honestly, like it's honest picture of me without any mask. Because all of my life, I used to cover myself, putting mask on myself, hide myself, and it was a stage that I questioned myself in front of a mirror that who I am, what am I doing, and I think all of the artists because it's a vulnerable image when you get naked and people just sitting and watching you. But I think, on the other hand, it can encourage people to, to start to accept each other or it can raise a question mark that, with my experience, I am daring to do this and I don't really care about people what they think about me. This is me, Atusa. I am what I am.